Hey guys, it's Elvia's Honey and welcome back to a new video. And it's finally time to take off the devil horns. <sighs> they will be missed, but tis the season, of course. Anyway, today I'm going to be opening up my Japanese LPS that I previously showed in a video, I believe in October. Here it is for anybody that doesn't remember. I mentioned in my previous video about this that I was possibly going to be opening it in the future and well, it's uh, it's the future. So here we are. I really wanted to open this up because it is a resealable box, which means I can still keep it looking nice and pristine for the collector in me, but also open it up to take a look at the items, specifically at the house because I want to show off like the cool little logo and everything like that. Listen, I'm a complete nerd when it comes to LPS. Let me live. But I digress, let's open this up. I'm gonna give you guys one last look at it in its box with all its little details before we rip into it. And by rip, I mean carefully cut open because I'm trying to keep this baby pristine. So here's the front of the box. It's the same set that you would get anywhere else in the world except it is in Japanese and has the Japanese logo and advertising on it. What's really cool is that the logo is actually printed on the item rather than just on the box, which is really awesome because if you were to get this, for example, out of its original box you could still have the cool different logo that they had only in Japan here's some advertisement pictures on the side here's the back where they show you how you can click together the different nook parts and also they talk about the magnet in the feet and also if you guys want to see more information about the actual like packaging and everything like that I recommend you go check out the original video I did on this set because this video is purely going to be opening it up and just a quick overview of the outside and here's the other side with some cute illustrations of the pet nooks with LPS in them. So let's get to opening this up. I'm probably going to cut off some of the elastic pieces that have started to snap and go brittle over time, but overall I'm going to be leaving the accessories in the back because they are kind of glued down and I don't want to rip that, but I'm going to be attempting to take out the LPS and the actual bakery set itself. If there's ever a time I didn't want to slip with my knife, it is now. Oh my god. Actually, it looks like the bakery is going to be staying to the box because it is completely taped down and if you guys have ever opened LBS sets you know that this tape is going to rip and cause a mess however I should be able to get the LPS out and some of the larger accessories After what feels like quite a lot of cutting, I was finally able to get the LPS out. It's kind of like a magic motion pet where it doesn't have a regular bobble head, but when you turn its head, the eyes actually move. As far as I know, this LPS isn't exclusive or any different to a regular LPS design that you would get in this set, but it's still really cute because there were different variations of this LPS. There was a black and white one and then this brown one, which were both available in different countries. As for the set itself, I'm honestly better off leaving everything as it is because there's just way too much plastic and sticky tape around the place. It's definitely going to get damaged if I try to take it out. The only thing that was really just placed in there was the LPS which I have removed and will be putting back later on. The accessories are the same as any other set. They are not exclusive to Japan or this pack, but they look pretty cool. I do like the accessories. It has some little information here. And of course, the little logo is on the top of the bakery where it says Little Pet Shop and then Littlest Pet Shop in Japanese. I really wish I could take this out more and show you guys more in detail, but it's just so solidified in there because Hasbro really packed things tight back in the day. But like I said, the only difference is really just the logo at the top of the set. Everything else is the same as the regular versions that were released everywhere else in the world. Something pretty cool though that I found at the bottom was this pamphlet. So we're going to take a look at the Japanese LPS pamphlet. I'm honestly really interested to see how they advertised LPS in Japan. So let's get this open. It kind of looks looks like it's a checklist but like illustrations rather than pictures which is what I'm used to and it is 
massive hello this is actually so adorable so instead of having a regular checklist where they have pictures of each LPS usually with their number and then a little checkbox next to it in the Japanese version of a kind of collector's pamphlet they actually have illustrations for each LPS with a little check marker next to it which I'm assuming you could just cross over if you do get that LPS and I think this is so cute i'll give you guys a close-up of each line but it is so adorable oh my god and then at the bottom they do mention the magnets once again as well as a long line of different illustrations going across so here's a bit of a close-up of some of these lps they just look so adorable in a illustration form and i think this is the first time i've really seen an lps pamphlet done like this i feel like every other pamphlet i've seen has been photos. They've definitely done illustrations on the actual boxes before, but I've never seen a full-on pamphlet with an illustrated checklist. But then on the back, we actually do have some photos, but instead of having each LPS lined up for their photo, they actually show them with the accessories or sets that they come with, which is really cool. So it lets you know whether or not a pet is from a single pack, a double pack, a three pack, or a larger set. And I just think that's really cool. Like, I don't know, seeing that like you can get like a checklist like this that not only gives you the pet information, but also the information about what they come with. So if you're like a really hardcore collector that wants to get the original accessories, this is a great way to look at it. And it also lets you know how it was released if you're curious. So up here we have our single pack pets. Over here we have some three packs with a bunch of accessories. And then over here we have like double packs, I believe, or I think these are single pets that come with accessories. And then we have our double packs over here with accessories. Some more single packs with kind of carrier accessories. And then we have a larger set over here. I apologize for being so freaking crinkly, my bad, but I really hope you could kind of see the checklist as best as I could possibly show it. I think it's really, really awesome, and if I can take some better quality images rather than video, I'll insert them now. But if not, um, I just hope you guys enjoyed looking at it. I seriously need to give you guys a little behind the scenes look right now because you guys are just seeing the set and the LPS and the checklist. But next to me is like a monstrosity of elastic band pieces from this opening. It honestly looks like a teeny tiny snake has shed its skin and just all over my floor. What the hell? Anyway, I guess that's kind of it for today's opening. I apologize it wasn't more thorough and like detailed. I really did want to get the bakery set out but I don't want to risk damaging the box because at least for me living in Australia coming by these Japanese LPS is quite hard and like one in a hundred chance so I don't want to risk wrecking it and then not being able to display it properly again. But I hope you guys did enjoy seeing the LPS being unboxed, which now I can use in future videos that the box is open, but I can also put back in the display, which I will be doing after this video. And of course, having a look at the playset, even though it wasn't in like full detail, I still hope you guys enjoyed seeing it. I don't even know if you guys care about this stuff. Maybe I'm just being such a complete loser about this, but to me, it's, it's interesting because I like collecting them. But let's put the set back in the box and reassemble everything for display. And there you have it, assembled, back again, good as new. The only way you would know this was opened is if you looked on the side and saw that the tape had been slit. Besides that, I did remove some of the old crusty elastic bands, which I showed you guys earlier on my floor. Just helps it make it look a little more neater and just better overall, kind of like more clear. It's not so like in your face disgusting elastic. I did leave the elastic on this part as it hadn't degraded and it's still quite clear. So in the future, if it degrades a lot, I'll probably remove it. But for now, I think it's fine just as it is. I did, however, remove quite a bit back here and, of course, all of the elastic on the LPS. So there you have it, guys. I t technically opened my Japanese LPS. Like I said, I'm so sorry it wasn't in more detail. I really wish I could have 
fully taken it off the box. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was just a little kind of unboxing and look into this Japanese LPS. And of course, the really cool pamphlet that they released for these Japanese LPS. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. And of course, um, I'm going to get questions where I got this. Uh, like I said in my previous video, I got this from Makari Japan. And I will leave a link to Makari Japan in the description down below. So you can go search on there. It's kind of like a marketplace. Um, so uh, pre-owned goods. Um, so yeah, just check it out. Maybe there might be some LPS on there that you're looking for. A lot of people sell kind of out-of-box old LPS. So finding in-box LPS like this is a little more rare, but it is doable. I hope you guys are looking forward to more videos in the future. If you enjoyed this video, please like always. Don't forget to like, comment, and of course subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.